Hello everyone, welcome to our new episode. Um, in this episode I will talk about some examples and solve uh, some maximization problems for different utility functions. So the first example we have is this is a utility function u of xy equals x plus ln y. Um, well here um, the, the, the first component and, and, and the second component uh, it looks like the utility function is perfect substitute. Well, it's not, all right? That's important because most of the times the uh, optimization uh, problem has an interior solution. And that's mainly because of the second part. Second part is, is a concave on the second variable y. So here ln is, is just, you know, arbitrary. It could be any conve a concave function of y. For example, x plus squared of y would probably behave a, a, a pretty similar way. Uh, I don't mean the optimization results will be the same, but you know, the utility function behaves a similar way. Sort of a more general form is u of xy equals to alpha x plus uh, v of y, where alpha is some pos uh, positive number and v is in uh, a strictly increasing, strictly increasing concave uh, function uh, of v, uh, y. All right. All right. So um, good. the question that we have is to maximize this utility function subject to the budget constraint. And I assume that the price of good X is PX, price of good Y is PY, and the income is I as usual. All right. So how do we do that? Well, simple. Write down the Lagrangian. All right. The Lagrangian is the objective function X plus ln Y minus the lambda and the constraint. And remember the constraint, it's basically the budget constraint, PXX plus PYY equals income. So my uh, lambda term is multiplied by this. Oops, the square bracket. Okay, so the first order conditions are as usual. Uh, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to the first variable, x. So it's going to give me basically 1, right? ln y, its derivative with respect to x is 0, minus lambda px equals 0. The partial derivative with respect to y, uh, the derivative of x with respect to y is 0, so I'm not going to write it. ln y is just 1 over y, minus uh, lambda py equals zero. And finally, the Lagrangian with respect to lambda is equal to uh, the constraint PXX plus PYY minus income equals zero. Okay, so if you simplify this, this is what you're going to get. Uh, lambda equals one over PX, right? If you simplify this, meaning just send the lambda PI to the other side, you're going to get lambda equals uh, 1 over y py. Very well. Um, this is the moment where a lot of students are sort of confused because the x term is sort of vanished. Well, that's fine. I still have the y term, all right? So that's important. If they both were vanished, that would sort of ring a bell because uh, things are not going to work as the way that you wished. But here, things are okay because I still have the y term. And this is just the budget constraint plus PYY equals income. All right. So from these two, all right, I can generate... Uh, the following e equality, 1 over px equals 1 over y py, which actually means I just want to write y as a function of px and py. So that means y equals px divided by py, all right? Or y py is just equal to px, all right? That's better because I am later, uh, I'm in the next step, I'm going to uh, write instead of pyy, this term, which is px, all right. So therefore, when I plug this into my budget constraint or the third <coughs> equality, I have uh, PXX plus PX equals income. So what I need to do, I need to take into, uh, I, I, I need to solve X. So that means send everything else to the other side, which means income minus PX divided by PX is going to give me what I want to. All right. Um, so that's basically x star. So this is the optimal amount of good x you're going to consume. 
uh, this agent is going to consume or this is the optimal X star point. Well, the question is, what about Y? I mean, you don't really need to uh, solve for Y because we already did, right? So that's your Y star, okay? Um, so Y star doesn't depend on uh, the X value. So uh, the optimal solution by which I mean uh, the X and the Y, which solves this maximization problem, maximize utility subject to budget constraint, are X star equals I minus PX divided by PX and Y star equals PX over PY, all right? So what does this tell me? So let's spend some time on that. Well, it tells me a few things. Well, first of all, um, it says, look, regardless of the income, all right, uh, the, the optimal thing for you to do is to spend your, uh, I mean, spend some money, well, obviously, right, if you buy X or Y, it's going to cost you, uh, spend money on Y, all right? How much? Well, the fixed amount. Regardless of the income, you want to buy a fixed amount of Y, which is PX over PY. So the relative price ratio, right, PX over PY is what we call relative price ratio, is what matters to determine the optimal Y level. However, X is, as normally the case, uh, depends on the income. The more income you have, the higher level of uh, consumption on X uh, you should be picking. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. So it basically says, look, consume this much Y and then uh, for the remaining of your, uh, so, so for, for the sort of the remaining of the money, basically uh, uh, buy this much X star. So if you simplify this, that's also equal to income divided by PX, which is basically tells me how much, the, well, I'm sorry, the maximum amount of good X you can buy minus one. All right. Um, so uh, yep, that's it.